right, all right. Thank you for joining me. So I do just want to um, uh, share some information with you here before I get to um, this uh, new, or well, the last ages that was put out, which is the um, Michael's Wings. Um, before I get into, you know, talking about that, I do just want to share some information with uh, people that might be in the situation that I'm in, or if you might currently already have your ages maxed out and you're thinking about you know switching over to this one um just something i want to share with you really quick here um so when you decide to move on to a new ages and and you've already invested in your current one and you've already maxed it out so the thing to you know kind of that i want to kind of point out here um when you get to this point where you already have old one maxed out um you have this option here for prep now the thing about prep the only thing prep does is it grants the bottom two stats there uh, you know it just gives you um those stats you know applied to your current ages now the thing the thing with that is if you get to the point of evolving the um, the ages like with my the first one here i was able to evolve it so on the second one that i didn't evolve you see that the ages attack on that one was 300 but this one I was able to evolve and get, you know, plus two on the Aegis attack. So that bumped it up to 500. And because that, you know, is just the raw stats at the bottom, that 500 will apply to my current, my current Aegis when I, when I prep it. So it's not really a major difference, but it, you know, it does add up. It does give you something, but it's not, you know, for the investment that you put into those previous Aegis, it really don't feel like enough to me. It's not much compared to how much, you know, how much resources, you know, and all that that you had to put into leveling up your current one or old one. So that's just some, uh, just a little bit of information I want to share really quick on, on that part. So now getting to the current Aegis I have here, Michael's, uh, Michael's Wings. So with, with this, we'll just go ahead and get into the try real quick here. <clears throat> So with this one, uh, the thing that is really, really good about this Aegis is in group, a group battle setting, you, you know, you hit all targets with the skill. Like with the, with the first two, you have a little, you know, the first cannon, it, it has like a little, a small little AOE. A lot of times you end up hitting like the pet with that one. You might, it has a high probability that you might end up hitting the pet instead of the, um, instead of your enemy. Uh, with this one it also gives you a shield you know that so that get, helps with a little survivability there helps uh take some of that damage i mean so overall i, I would say this one it really shines in like a uh, a group a group setting like you know you're doing honor tower or you're doing like uh you know marshall where you're doing those um group battle sessions in there that's why i, I really feel this one kind of shines in that sort of in that sort of aspect um, also, you know, just when you're fighting in general, like when you do the um, the ages, the can't the executioner one, people have time to, you know, pop their pets, uh, you know, do some sort of uh, skill or ability that will mitigate the damage of that. But with with this one, I, th I think it is you have a little more, you know, I, I say a little more a better control over when you when you're getting that damage off. You have, I think you have a higher chance of hitting someone with, you know, a group or a group of enemies with that skill. Um, and that, the shield provides, like I said, some survivability there. So that that's that's pretty yeah. nice. Um, I, I would say overall, this this is, I say this is a pretty pretty good one. I mean, because it, it gives you some offensive ability and some defensive. So it, it's it's a win win. I mean, you can't really, I don't see how you really can go wrong with that one. I mean. Um, that's just pretty much it. That's all there is to it. It's not really, um, I mean, it's not really much to say about it because the skill is what makes each Aegis unique, you know, their, their, um, their ability. Because the stats, stats just come from cards, things on your, you know, little perks you get on your, your, your gear pieces. So it's not really different in that regard. Only the Aegis skill is what separates it, each Aegis from each other, just their skill. But, um... I mean that's pretty much it. It's just that simple. I mean, if you, I mean if you like, 
like that. You like being able to do uh, consistent damage to all the enemies in a nice, nice wide area. I, I, I would say go, go with it, man. I, I mean, I'm going for it. It's a, it's a win-win. I, I can't see any reason not to use this one. Um, so I just want to put a quick, a quick uh, plug out there for the, for that ages, and that's pretty much it. Oh, and also, uh, I mean, let me show you this real quick. This is not okay with with this one. Why you have this on? You have a meter there. Why, the problem with trying to charge because you do more damage when that meter's charged. But the prob the problem with trying to charge that meter is if you're fighting a strong opponent, they gonna knock it off. They gonna knock. They gonna knock it. They gonna knock this thing right off you. So that that meter part is like it's real iffy. I I would I would not recommend trying to charge that meter if you're fighting a strong opponent because they are going to you know they can stun you and, and you know you're, you're, you're trying to take some damage or you're just fighting back and forth you're trying to if you're trying to charge this meter and you're fighting a strong enemy you, you're putting yourself in a dangerous situation uh, I think it's actually more you know advantageous to just jump in with, with your, your eternal flame hit them hit with the skill you know, so you got some some resistance there, and just go to work. I don't, I don't, I don't recommend. I, I really don't recommend trying to charge that meter if you're fighting a strong opponent. So I just wanted to say that real quick. All right, all right, that's it.